What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing, in my opinion, one of the coolest dragon types in all the Pokemon, Altaria. You guys are a no deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Come on, people, get on top of that, scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button, and join the community. But I really like Altaria. Cannot wait to showcase this Pokemon, and I always loved this design as a kid. Like, just look at this thing. It's a cloud. It's legit a cloud with a head, a tail, and, like, two little talons popping out the bottom. Doesn't get much cooler than that. Does not get much cooler than that. But let's get into the team preview for today and showcase this Pokemon. Starting off with the one and only Altaria. It is dragon and flying type. So it is dual typing, which is really, really cool. We gave it the focus sash as an item and that modest nature to give it a special attack boost. EVs for this guy is going to be special attack and speed with that cloud nine ability, which is really, really good because it eliminates the effects of weather on the field. So whenever we're going up against a weather team, we can bring out Altaria and just eliminate the effects as a whole. Last but not least, the moveset for this guy is going to be Tailwind, Dragon Pulse, Feather Dance, Drop Physical Attack, and Ice Beam for our coverage move. Another thing that I really like about Altaria is that its special attack stats and physical attack stats are the exact same. So it makes this Pokemon a lot more versatile. So you can either build it special attacking or attacking and change up its moveset. So really do like this Pokemon. Really versatile and great in all different situations. Second Pokemon for the squad is going to be Tyrant. Can't go wrong with this guy. We got a normal move set on Protect, Dragon Dance, Crunch, Rock Slide. EVs are going to be Attack Speed with the Sand Stream ability. Obviously, all this is pretty normal. Adamant Nature. And then last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Life Orb to give it a huge damage boost. Third Pokemon for the squad is a Pokemon that we used in our last video. It is going to be Choice Scarf Gardevoir. And Choice Scarf Gardevoir is really good. It's great in all different situations. It can outspeed pretty much anything, which makes it really, really good. And it hits like a truck. It's like a truck as well. Modest Nature to give it a special attack boost. EVs are going to be special attack and speed just like our Altaria. We have te a Telepathy, so we can't get hit by uh, ally moves. And then last but not least, Moveset is the same thing as last time. Moon Blast, Psychic, Dazzle Gleam, and Focus Blast. But we have that Choice Scarf, so we're going to be choosing a one move every single time. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rotom Mo. And I only used him in one video before, so it's pretty cool to bring this guy back. We got Leaf Storm, we got Thunderbolt, we got Nasty Pot to set up and protect for our fourth and final move. EVs for this guy is going to be special attack and speed, and then levitate ability. Nature's going to be timid to give it a little bit of speed boost, and last but not least, the item it is holding is the Citrus Berry. Fifth Pokemon for the squad is Gary the Gyarados over here. Cannot go wrong with an Intimidate Pokemon on your squad. We gave this thing the Lumberry because, you know, we do not want this thing to get burned. And then we got the Jolly Nature for a speed boost. EVs are maxed out, or actually it's not maxed out in anything. We got pretty much it in attack, HP, and speed, which works really well. Those are the three main stats for Gyarados, and then Intimidate ability, like we already said. And last but not least, a normal moveset with Waterfall, Crunch, Dragon Ants, and Protect. Last Pokemon on the squad, one and only Heatran. Great at countering Toke Kisses, great at doing, oh, uh, countering Toke Kisses and Scissors, I should say, and has a great uh, moveset with Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Taunt, and Protect. EVs for this guy, special attack and HP. We made it bulky, we made it big to be able to hit harder, so it's just going to be able to rock out in the battles and get after it that way. Flash Fire as its ability, nature's going to be modest, and last but not least, the item it is holding is going to be that Shuka Berry. This team right here is really, really good. We got a lot of different Pokemon to set up. I was going to give Altaria Dragon Dance, but I was just like, no, let's try it. Let's give it Feather Dance instead to drop physical attack while these other guys have uh, Dragon Dance and Nasty Pot to set up, like Titar, Rotom Wash, and Gyarados. But guys, that is the team preview right here. If you guys want to see the Poke Pace, we got all the EVs, all the moves down in the description below. Definitely go check it out. But without further ado, Let's hop onto that ladder. Look to get some wins with his Altaria team. It's time to hop into some battles with Altaria right here. Trying to get some wins with this Pokemon. I'm hoping we can grab ourselves at least a winning record with this guy because I love it so much. I love it so much. But this guy's got a ooh, a pretty cool team right here. He's got a Politoed Rain that works well for our Altaria due to our Cloud9 ability. And then he has Vaporeon, Manetric, Frostlass, Blaziken, and Roserade. How should we go into this one? How should we play? I might just lead Altaria. Altaria could be really, really good here. And I really do like it. I think uh, Rotom could be great here as well. You know, let's lead Altaria, get rocking out with that Pokemon. And then next, hmm. Weather's going to be tough, so we might bring T-Tar in the back. I think we might bring T-Tar in the back, even though it will, uh, if Altaria's out there, it will eliminate the effects. But having T-Tar in the back, say, in case Altaria goes down, will be really, really good for us. So let's go Altaria. Let's bring Rotom Moe's looking pretty good. Just has a lead. They lead those water Pokemon. Really get after this battle this way. I'm with all that. Let's go Rotom Mo. We're going to bring Titar in the back, like I said. And then last but not least, do we go Gyarados or do we go Gardevoir? I don't think he trans too, too good here. So it's either Gyarados or Gardevoir. What's my play? I'm kind of liking Gyarados here. I'm kind of actually, mm. am I liking Gyarados? I'm kind of liking this Gardevoir. I don't like Gardevoir, but choosing into certain moves could be tough news for us. Could definitely be tough news for us. 
No, let's do it, yo. Let's throw Gardevoir out here. Let's get rocking out. Let's lock in these Pokemon. And let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But I wonder what this person's going to lead. I'm kind of hoping it's the rain combo a little bit because we do have our lovely uh, Rotom. Here. We have lovely Rotom. He's going to lead Frost Ice alongside with Polytoast. So I can go into straight... Uh, we got to watch out for that Ice Move. The ice Move can definitely do a sturdy. So I might swap or do I double down into Frost Ice? I could double down into Frost Ice. Because that Ice Move can do my Altaria really, really dirty. Just can come out here. Cloud Nine's pop. So I'm cool with it. All weather effects are gone. I'm thrive with that. He did bring four Pokemon, which is really, really good. But in this case, you know what? I'm just going to double straight down into this Pokemon. Could Leaf Storm. I could Thunderbolt. But I just think Thunderbolting alongside with the Dragon Pulse should be enough damage to take out this Frost Ice. And he's going to protect the Frost. What you mean? He protects the Frost Ice, yo. What a play here. Okay, so he double protects to read out what we're doing. That's fine. Imagine if we were setting up like a Dragon Dance or something. We're not a Dragon Dance, a Nasty Plot. Could have definitely been the play. Could have definitely been the play, but I do think the play is going to be just Thunderbolt and go into... He might swap into a... Uh... He might swap into Manetric here. Manetric learn... Uh... I don't think it learns Lightning Rod. It actually could. He could. Let's just see what he does. We're doubling down into him. We're doing the same exact turn. He gives me no reason not to. Because Polytoad doesn't really pose that big of a threat. It could learn Ice Beam, but it's not going to do too, too much damage. And we do have the food stage. In order to soak up. So let's see how this one plays out. He's just going to go straight for Ice Beam. This thing just straight up outspeeds me. That's totally fine by me. Our Focus Ash is going to pop here. And we're going to get after his battle this one. Well, Altair is going to stay in here. I wonder what Polytoad's going to do. If we can get rid of this Frost Ash, we could be thriving. Big damage there, and then Dragon Pulse gonna come out here for all sides. Get on out my game. Altaria getting started with a big KO. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. So we know Frost Ice is super, super fast. He's a problem. He could be. Oh no, he's not choice. He's just gonna go for a psychic set into my Rotom. Kind of hoping it is indeed into my. So Rotom's able to soak that up all day, and now we still have Altaria on the field, which we could set up a Tailwind if we want to. Could be really, really good. He's gonna set out his next Pokemon, which is gonna be Manetric. So Manetric comes out here. Manetric is super, super fast. And in this case, I could hard swap into Gardevoir. What do I do from here? Hmm. Try to get off a Tailwind. I'm going to try to get off a Tailwind. That's going to be my play. And I'm just going to Leaf Storm and... Actually, no. We're just going to Thunderbolt. We still have our Citrus Berry. There's no need to go into our Leaf Storm just yet. Uh, oh, this thing protects. That's a great turn. That's a great turn. Is it double protect? It is. He's going to double protect again and try to read out what we're doing. I'm totally fine by that. I'm totally fine by that. We get Tailwind set up, so now we are guaranteed... Okay, and we learned that this thing's Lightning Rod. See, yo, I thought it learned Lightning Rod, but then I was just like, okay, maybe not. But that thing protected itself, so does not get that boost. Tailwind's gonna get set up. I'm just gonna drop a Leaf Storm at this point. Leaf Storm coming out and about, and I think I'll just Dragon Pulse into this thing and try to get off a little bit of chip damage. So let's do it. Let's get after it, baby. Leaf Storm coming at you. I don't think this is gonna KO, but it still should be able to do a decent amount of damage to a Polytoad. Because you know, Polytoad's kind of bulky. It is kind of bulky, but Leaf Storm is big damage. It is big damage. Leaf Storm coming out here. KO? Think so, maybe? Yes, sir, yo. Get this thing out my face. This cotton candy looking frog out my face. Our special attack is going to drop, but yo, it's all good. We're sitting in such a great position here. So, Altaria is going to be able to get off a shot before Manetric, which is lovely due to her tailwind. And then I think Manetric just takes out Altaria from there. Let's see how much damage we can do. Look at Altaria. Chunking damage. Chunking damage. Thunder's going to come through here. It's 100% in the rain, and Altaria is She gone. She is gone, but yo, good work. Picked up a KO on the Frost Slice, set up a Tailwind, and got off a lot of damage on the Manetric. And this thing does show its life. But oh, we are thriving. We are thriving now. Let's just go straight into Titar. I could go into Titar. But you know what? I'm going to go into, uh... I'm going to go into Gardevoir here. And the reason I'm going into Gardevoir is because I can just Dazzle Gleam and we'll finish off the Manetric. We know we'll outspeed and we can get, get damage off on this other side. This last Pokemon is going to be Blaziken. We have Titar in the back here, but, you know, we got this, uh... We could Psychic, actually. Psychic could be good, but I think just going straight into this... Gleam could work as well. Gleam into another Leaf Storm? Nah. Gleam into a Thunderbolt. Definitely our play. Let's do it. I could obviously Psychic, but Psychic is just not the play here. He's going to protect Manetric. That's totally fine. And he's going to detect us. This guy is all about just double protecting and reading turns. All about. And I was going to set up a Nasty Plot that turn. But we're just going to double down into that uh, Blaze. can do the exact same moves. And I believe that's victory number one for your boy. I love it. Lightning Rod. Oh my dude, why why am I so stupid? <laughs> why am I why am I going into lightning rods twice? What am I doing? Actually, it's fine. We could definitely do that because we outspeed with Garden. I don't mind it. It's totally fine. I, I knew I had a reason for using Thunder. I knew I had a reason for using Thunderbolt again. Reason being my Garden is gonna be able to outspeed. It's gonna take out Manetric, no problem. It's gonna take out Manetric. Lightning field is going to cancel out on the field, and Thunderbolt is gonna be able to drag it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We're sitting in a great position here. Dazzling comes out. My plan's working. 
Later, Manetric, you gone. Thunderbolt's gonna be able to fly out here, but I don't think Thunderbolt can KO. We still should be able to outspeed to do a Tailwind, and Thunderbolt's gonna come out here. We are minus two, and it's not gonna be able to KO, which is totally fine. He's just gonna go in through Shadow Call. Can you eat that? You do, yo. Gardevoir survived on three due to the coverage move, and our Tailwind uh, is gone. So now Blaziken outspeeds everybody. Even the Gardevoir, I think. I think it does outspeed him. Even through a Choice Scarf. But he has to have a double hitting move, which I do not believe he has. So it's either he takes out one of my Pokemon or not. And he detects again, dude. This guy is all about protects. This guy used... How many protects did he use this game? Is that seven? He might be on like eight or nine, actually. Because Manatric protected like three times. <laughs> it's crazy. It is crazy. But this thing's just boosting speed. Getting after it. He definitely outspeeds my guard. Oh, it was kind of close before because we were choosing. But he 100% outspeeds my guard now. Probably just going to take it out with another Shadow Call. Yep. And then my boy Rotom Mo over here is just going to be able to mow his way to victory. Make it happen, dude. Make it happen. Land a Thunderbolt. Because we know t ain't up. No fighting. Dude. That comes out there. GG's. Blaziken drops down. 1-0 to get this video started with Altaria. Let's hop into our second. Look to go back to back and showcase Altaria a little bit more. Battle number two with Cloudbird coming at you guys. Trying to rock out with Altaria yet again and look to grab ourselves back-to-back -back win in today's video. But let's see who this guy's rocking out with. Let's see what Pokemon he's working with. Come on, pick a team, dude. Pick a team. But yo, Cloudbird's a lot of fun. I love using Altaria. Super, super fun. Cannot wait to show off the Feather Dance because it's minus two. It's basically like a charm. It can just take out physical attackers instantly. Instantly with that minus two. It's really, really good. But this guy has a Sand Rush. Uh, what is that? Sand Slash Team. Sand Rush, Sand Slash Team with Tyrantar, Wormadam, pretty cool Pokemon, Breedloom, Gyarados, and Latias. Okay. Um, I think Altaria could be a great lead. Eliminates all effects on weather. We can Feather Dance on a bunch of these physical attackers, and he does have Tailwind and the Focus Sash. So, a lot of these Pokemon will, can do some damage on Altaria, but due to that Focus Sash, we can keep it in there and we can get Rock. I think Gardevoir has to come in the back end at least because a lot of our, our or their Pokemon will go down to a nice big old fairy move. So, I'm going to be bringing that. Uh, Gyarados could be solid here as well due to Intimidate. And then we can go Gardevoir. And then last but not least, hmm, Titar's not bad. Titar really isn't that bad. I kind of do like Titar here. He trans, eh, he trans all right. He trans okay. I just think Titar's going to be a little bit better here. So, you know, let's lock in these guys. Let's get after it. Back-to-back -back wins coming at you guys. Coming at you guys. But I feel like this guy could potentially lead the, uh, the Sand Shoe combo. Or not Sand Shoe, the Sand Slash, Sand Rush, Titar combo. However you guys want to say I'm so used to a uh, Sand Rush X. This might have to be a combo at the trial. You know, your boy loves Sand Teams. I love me some Sand Teams, but Altaria's gonna be here to kind of counteract this and get after the battle that way. He goes T-Tar and Wormadam. And what does Wormadam do? What does this Pokemon do? I'm genuinely confused at what this Pokemon does. We got Altaria. We rock out with Gyarados. Intimidate's gonna work wonders right off the rip. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And I could just Feather Dance turn one, which I might do. I think I'm gonna Feather Dance. He could drop a rock. He could indeed drop a rock. But weathers disappear, effects on weather disappear. It's awesome. Sanction can poke out here. And I might just D dance and feather dance. Or feather dance and dragon dance at the same time. I think it's gonna be my play. This is 100% gonna be my play. He could swap out the Titar. I wonder what he's gonna do. He's just gonna protect it. That's totally fine. We can feather dance another turn and we can set up this dragon dance. What's Wormadam go? That's the real question. Wormadam, I have no idea what that Pokemon does. So I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of wondering what it's going to do. I honestly don't even know it's typing. Is it, isn't it part grass? Feather Dance comes out here. It gets blocked. That's all good. Thrive. Wormy Ram's going to go for a String Shot. So he's just going to slow down my Pokemon. I can Tailwind at this point. But do I protect and Feather Dance? Oh, that, that drops Attack? Oh, that said Speed. I thought one said Attack. Oh, one said Attack. I know it drops Speed. At this point, I still want a Feather Dance here. I think we just double down into t here. Or we go after one more. I'm kind of down for going after one more. Let's get after this. I wonder if Altaria is faster. No, he's still... He outspeeds now. I think Rock Slide is going to do me dirty. Do some big damage on both my Pokemon. But we should be thriving here. We really should. Waterfall is going to come out here. Might be able to get a flinch. But more importantly, we sh this Feather Dance is going to be huge. Feather Dance coming out here. Minus two. So now, actually, this thing's minus three now. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Get this thing out of my face. We can try to set up a... Uh... Oh, that thing did flinch. That's beautiful. We could try to set up a Tailwind now. So I could protect and get off of Tailwind. I do not see them really KOing me. So you know what? Tailwind's going to poke here with you. And then I'm just going to protect you. I'm just going to protect because I really do not want Rock Slide to do a little bit more damage. But even though I know Rock Slide can't take me out. So we could swap the T-Tar or maybe even protect it. But we have to get this Tailwind set up and get more with that. So 
making a safe play by going into that protect and going with that. See, there's the withdrawal on the T-Tar. I could have just set up an easy Dragon Answer. Could have set up the easy Dragon Answer. Sand Slash is going to come through here. And after his Tailwind, we could be thriving. We could be thriving because we are plus one on... Uh, we are plus one on attack, but we're minus one on speed. Actually, we might be minus two. Well, I, I don't know how a strength shot works. It doubles down. There's no way it's minus two on both. Tailwind's going to set up here. And this thing's going to set up a stuff. God dang it, dude. Setting up the rocks here. Let's get after these guys. Okay, so I could read that that Sand Slash is going to protect. I honestly might do that. Sand Slash might protect. So in this case, I might just drop a Feather Dance onto it. And go into a Waterfall onto the other slot. Because it shouldn't outspeed me, right? Because we have Cloud Nine in effect. So effects on weather is gone. Yeah, Cloud Nine's in effect. Waterfall is going to poke out here. Beautiful. We get off some big damage on Wormadam. And we take out that Pokemon. And now Altaria should be able to outspeed this, uh, this Sand Slash. Yep. And then Feather Dance poking out here. Physical attacker, minus two, yo. Loving it, yo. Loving the cloud nine. Cloud nine's working wonders right here. Minus two on special attack. This thing's going for a crush claw. And that doesn't really do anything to me. We eat up all day. You're minus two, buddy. You're minus two. And I'm kind of hoping he brings back out uh, Tyranitar. Because I'll just feather dance on that Pokemon. I'll just feather dance up on him. He's going to go into Latios. That's totally fine. I'm going to Dragon Pulse on that thing. I'm hoping we can outspeed it, right? Hoping. I'm hoping we can do that. So let's just go into a straight Dragon Pulse. It's Stab. It's super effective. We're going to do that. And then I'm just going to go straight into a Waterfall over on Slash here. Over on the Sand Slash. And we still have that lovely Gardevoir in the back end, which is going to work wonders on that Tyranitar and onto this Latios. As long as, it, as long as I can just get off a Waterfall onto the Sand Slash, I feel like this battle is in the bag. But yo, what a what a battle to showcase Altaria. We're just lighting it up with her. Two Feather Dances. Uh, what else did we do? We set up a Tailwind, and now we're going to get off some big damage with her. Loving it, you know, this is exactly how I built this Pokemon and exactly how I want to play it. And we get to show off the, uh, the Cloud Nine in full effect. It's in full effect here. Sand Slash cannot, like, do anything towards me. He really can't do anything towards me. But there we go. He's going to swap back into Tyranitar. Weather has no effect. Sand Slash not outspeeding me. He's not getting this boost. Waterfall's going to poke here with plus one and do some big damage. And bring this thing down to focus. We bring this thing down to focus. Dash. I'm thriving with it. I know my boy Gyarados outspeeds. And this thing actually outspeeds me. Well, Latios is super, super fast. And I'm glad he took it out the Gyarados. I'm actually really glad he took out the Gyarados. Because now I get off this huge Dragon Pulse. I can bring out Gardevoir with that Choice Scarf. And we can be thriving. This thing is Orb, but it's all good. Dragon Pulse can come out here. And I think this picks up the KO, right? Get this thing out of here. Help to go home. Oh, so close. So close. So close. Sandstorm does subside. We still have Cloud9 out, yo. It's GG's. It is GG's. Let's bring out Gardevoir. And let's finish up this battle, yo. Cloudbird is OP. OP up against this weather team. It's really just countering everything he has. No weather. We're feather dancing on multiple physical attackers. We have Dragon Pulse that just is huge damage on that Latios. We can go into it again, but I think in this play, um, what do we do? We do. I mean, we might as well just face We might as well. And I'll just go into a Gleam. Gleam is 100% of the play. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's going to witch all the T-Tar. I'm fine with that. I think he's trying to take out my Altaria. Just so the weather can come back into effect. But this thing is going to take some damage. This thing is going to take some damage. Gardevoir is going to go first here. Gleam up. Take out the what's called? The Latios. And now Ice Beam probably just going to roll in here and take out this uh, Sand Slash, right? Is that correct? Did Jeans just did it? Did I just do it? Altaria Ice Beam. Take him out, yo. Altaria. I'm loving this, dude. Altaria Ice Beam. Sand Slash. Get on out of here. And we're seeing an Altaria just dominate. This is just domination with this Pokemon. This Pokemon's crazy strong. Tailwind Peter's out, it's all good. A Dazzling Gleam's gonna be able to outspeed with my Gardevoir, and it's gonna be GG's. It is gonna be GG's. We only lost Gyarados. We're close to a sweep, but yo, Altaria's been in here the whole battle. No problem whatsoever. Doing damage, dropping stats, controlling weather. Dude, it is so good. It is honestly so good. I'm trying to think, uh, no, Rayquaza doesn't have a, an ability like that. Well, it has a similar ability. Called airlock and i think it does the exact same thing it's just called something different but this guy cancels the battle we go two and oh let's hop to our third look for a perfect curve. our cloudbird team is on a heater let's keep it rolling here in battle number three we are sitting at two and oh so we guaranteed ourselves at least a winning record for this. but yo you know that's not good enough for me sometimes we're going for that perfect record and yo what a team this guy has this guy has a crazy strong rain team with pelipper kingdra alongside with scissor arcanine raikou who's absolute beast in this uh in this format and then Latios, who is another absolute beast in this format hopefully we grab ourselves a win but like i said if not it's all good we're here to have some fun we already grabbed ourselves a winning record and we showcase our altaria to the fullest potential but i definitely want to bring it in here again probably gonna lead it just due to having tailwind and 
these guys have in rain team so if he goes in with rain we kind of just counter it up that way definitely want to bring tyranitar in there just in case again if altaria goes down we can bring in titar and change up the weather that way. so titar's coming in here but we don't want to leave we do not want to leave next pokemon i want to bring might be heatran i mean heatran could be pretty good here kind of counters up on a scissor so i really do want heatran so i am going to bring it but i don't know if i'm going to lead it i do not know if i'm going to lead it but yo i got low battery you guys already know hold up give me a second you guys already know i keep that thing on me i keep my charger on me at all times we're gonna charge this up one in and we got 30 seconds to pick so i think gyarados could be a decent lead could be pretty good we can set up dragon dance and kind of get up get after the battle that way or i could just straight up lead the titar i could lead the gardevoir i mean gardevoir isn't bad here but you know what? i'm gonna mm, who do i want to lead let's lead the mm, i don't know who i want to lead i'm kind of scared let's go gyarados bring titar in the back end and then last pokemon let's go gardevoir i kind of want to lead the gardevoir but it's all good. We'll rock out with these guys. We'll rock out with this squad. Let's lock it in here and let's grab ourselves a win here in our final battle. But I did not bring Heatran today. I don't think I brought Heatran today. But it's all good. I don't think he's going to bring Scissor on this squad. He's going to lead these two, which is totally fine by me. We're going to bring Gyarados in this one, which is uh, it's actually not totally fine by me. It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough news here. Uh, what do I do? Do I Tailwind set up? I think I might protect and then Tailwind set up. Could be good for us. Or I could Hard Swap. I could indeed Hard Swap into maybe or something but i just don't like that uh i do not like that what's it called that raikou that raikou is scary hopefully he doesn't set up a calm line and read our protect that'd be a great play by him raikou is just so good it has such a good moveset amazing stats all around it is one of the best pokemon in this format and right very very tough to counter especially we don't have a ground type pokemon. Like, do i have any ground type moves on this team i don't think so i think that's the one the one typing i don't cover and raikou is like the top tier of that thing right, let's see how this one plays yeah, we don't have one ground move. We do not, because we have Altaria, no ground moves. Heatran, no ground moves. Gyarados, no ground moves. Rotom, no ground moves. Titar, no ground moves. And then we do have, uh, we do have Gardevoir, but no ground moves. Yet. Bolt Switch can come out here. We block it up. And Tailwind is going to set up. I wonder what, what's called going on. An Ice Beam. That's totally fine. We're Sash. I didn't mind it taking damage by Altaria because, you know, we're Sash here. And we kind of get rocking out from that. So this thing is going to try to Bolt Switch out. Uh, what's my play here? Just Dragon Pulse straight up onto that Kingdra at this point, right? And get after the battle that way and maybe just hard swap maybe just hard swap i don't really want to hard swap actually i'd rather hard swap into like or something. because if i hard swap into uh Ty or tyranitar and then he bolt switch pivots out into uh helper he's gonna get one so i'd rather not swap to my t-tar just the guard is gonna come out here we're hoping he's not protecting the kingdra he just straight up withdraws like that okay so he does that and now actually kingdra is not gonna be fastest Pelly's gonna come out here, which is Pelipper. We still have Cloud9, what he doesn't know. We're gonna be able to Dragon Pulse into this thing, right? Am I correct? I believe I'm correct here. I believe I'm correct. Dragon Pulse coming out here, yo. Cloud9 doing our opponent dirty yet again. That's lovely. That is lovely. And we don't KO. We don't KO, but we're sitting in such a good spot. Muddy Water's gonna come out here. We can change up weather easily here, which I might do. Or I might just bring back out Gyarados. I might just bring back out Gyarados, but there's really no point to, uh, Bring out Gyarados. Titar's definitely gonna be a play here. He's gonna go down life orb damage. And that's, that is a lovely. We love to see it. We love to see it. So I'm gonna save my Gyarados. He might go back into Raikou, but let's just bring out Titar here. Because Raikou is our only problem with this battle. He is our one problem. If we can get rid of Raikou, we could be chilling. Unless he has Scissor in the back. Scissor could be another problem. Titar's gonna come out here. Please no Scissor. Please no Scissor. He's gonna go out into Red Bug. That's definitely Scissor, right? Oh my lord, no! No, we're not looking good here. We're not looking good. Bull Punch is definitely going to fly out here. And what do I do in this case? Drop a Rock Slide. Yeah, we're going to Rock Slide here. And I got a Hard Swap. I got to get that Intimidate Drop. I got to get that Intimidate Drop. Because if we keep Gardevoir in here, we know a Bull Punch is just going to fly out here and do some big damage. So we need Intimidate. We need to start getting rocking out. But dude, he has all the Pokemon to counter me. This is why I wanted to bring the Heatran. But I did not think he was going to bring the Bug. I did not think he was going to bring Red Bug. <laughs> the best is we're like, yo, hopefully he's not bringing Scissor and just says our opponent throws out Red Bug. And I'm like, I, I, I think that's Scissor. The only Red Bug in all of Pokemon. Besides, like, <laughs> imagine he throws out Cricketune. That's like the only Red Bug I can think of. That would be hilarious, but yeah. Scissor comes out here. Definitely a huge threat to our team. It's super effective up against my T-Tar. super effective up against my Gardevoir. And then he has that Raikou in the back. We're definitely going to need our Gardevoir just to at least do something to uh, Raikou. But I don't know how this one's going to play out. Intimidate's gonna poke, which is lovely. And if I had to guess, it's Pelper Sash, but we do have the sand out about. So if it is Sash, the buffets are just gonna kill, but it will end up getting off a turn because of that. Or he just hard swaps Paloops. 
Paloops gets the hard swap. And Ray's gonna come back in, who is his Raikou. Do like that name. <laughs> Ray for a Raikou. And we're gonna be able to do that. And we do outspeed. We do outspeed due to Tailwind, so this could be really, really good. I can waterfall on the Raikou and drop a Rock Slide at the same time. So he ends up eating his berry, and of course. Of course he has a berry, he gets some more HP back, but I still think a Rock Slide and a Water Ball can take that thing out. And this thing's going for Sword Dance. Now he poses such a big threat. Now he poses such a big threat. A Bull Punch will take out my Titar. Tough news. Real tough news. Real tough news. Okay, so what's my play here? Hmm. I want to protect you. I want to pre protect the T-Tar. He's got to be going in with a, what's it called? With a bullet punch in the T-Tar. This is so tough. This is so tough. Hate this game. Protect coming out from T-Tar. Give me the block. Yo, I need him to go into a B-Punch in that slot. Make it happen. He's going, oh no! At least go into a bullet punch here. Okay, cool. Okay, so neutral turn. Everything cancels out. Oh, dude, what is the player? Hard swap in the Gardevoir. Keep my T-Tar alive. What's Gardevoir really going to do here? What is Gardevoir really going to do here? Our Tailwind's gone. Oh, we definitely lost. Oh, no. <laughs> we're, we're in such a tough position. I mean, I guess we'll go for a Rock Slide. Protect you? But no, it's over with. It is 100% over with. There's no way out of this. I'm trying to like think of ways in my head where we can like get out of this situation. We cannot. He outspeeds us now. Bull Punch his Sword Stance up. It's G's, right? Bull Punch comes out here. We don't have a Sash by t right? Ah! GG's. GG's. At least we've taken out the Kingdra and we did not get swept. Because you guys know my rules on the channel. We don't go 0-3, which we, we haven't went yet. And we do not get swept, which we haven't went yet. Those are my rules. Once one of those happens, I have to quit my channel. Channel's done. But we didn't get swept. We took it out the Kingdra. But it's over with here. It's over with here. Did he miss like a Bolt Switch or a Thunderbolt? Or did we miss something? I'm kind of confused how, why I didn't hit that thing. Oh, I protect it. Oh, yeah, that's why. I, I just protect it. All right, so I guess Gleam can come out here, but dude, it is over with. It is over with. We'll go for Gleam. We'll go for a Waterfall, I guess, but I, I do think just Bull Punch flies through here alongside with a Bull Switch, and it's GG's. There's the Bull Punch by Gardevoir. God dang, Scissor, dude. We needed that Heatran. We need that Heatran. Heatran would have definitely been huge for us. Would have been great. And here comes the Thunderbolt. There it is. Later, Gardeners. GG's. 2-1 for today's video. Not bad. Got to show off Altaria and his team to its fullest potential. Cloudbird is too good. It is definitely an underrated dragon type in Pokemon BDSP. I had a ton of fun with it. Countered up a lot and got to show off this Pokemon really, really well. Cloud9 worked wonders on weather teams along with its Tailwind and Feather Dance doing absolute work. So I think Altaria checks out my book. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.